Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboBench video series, I'm Tim. Today, what I really am excited to talk to you about is one of the autonomous options that we've kind of hinted at in the past, but we haven't really shown you an, exact, uh, an actual example of, and that's an Arduino board controlled Tetrix Prime robot. Uh, we've actually showed you in the past a, an EV3 or a Mindstorms controlled Prime robot. And we've mentioned that there's going to be compatibility for autonomous options other than that, one of them being Arduino. And today I want to show you that. We're going to start by showing this is a standard Arduino Uno board. And those of you that are familiar with the Arduino platform should recognize that. And what we've done, uh, Pitsco has created a Tetrix Prime interface shield for the Arduino. Those that are familiar with the Arduino recognize that there are lots of different interface shields that people make, all hundreds of them, that actually just plug on top of the standard Arduino platform. And I'm gonna carefully try and do this. There's pins on the back, if you can see, and it just goes into um, the top of that board. Again, I wanna just kind of carefully, you don't wanna bend those, but it should just kind of set on top. And when you get it lined up correctly, it will just actually press down on top, just like that, and you seat it firmly, just like that, and it's ready to go. Once you get that created, and this particular interface shield, I wanna show you some of the options. We've got a start-stop button, we've got six servos, we've got a battery connection, we've got a power on and off switch, we've got three uh, inputs for sensors, and obviously six input outputs for servos, as well as a couple of LED indicator lights. This makes this a pretty versatile interface shield for the Arduino platform. It gives you lots of programming options, not only for just uh, outputting to your robot, but also uh, indicating lights and then sensor inputs. So we've got that as a start. Let's look at our robot. We've got a very simple two motor servo motor uh, robot. We've got our interface board. We've got a battery controller, and we have a Grove sensor on the front of this. And what this robot is actually uh, meant to do, it's just a very simple line following robot using that line uh, finder Grove sensor. And you can see how it actually works really well as a, a line follower. So again, it's using our Tetrix Prime uh, as our foundation, our motors that come with that, our wheels. We actually just use a simple axle as a pivot point in front, a Grove sensor, and our Arduino controller. So we could use other sensors to go with that and program autonomously with our Chetrix Prime robot system. So that's what we hope that um, folks will actually embrace and use as part of one of your options as an autonomous controlled robot with the Tetrix Prime starter system. So thanks for watching today and have fun building those robots out there and come back and see us.